Hi, what's up? I'm Ashley Salazar, uh, CEO and founder of MissOolala.com. Today I'm here with Chris Bolton, who is an amateur MMA fighter, uh, entrepreneur, and our May male cover model for 2011. What's up, Chris? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? So are you excited? Yeah, I'm very excited. I'm so happy to be a part of this. <laughs> well, we are really excited to have you part of the family. Uh, you know, we've been in business now for over a year, and you are our uh, one of our very first few male cover models that we have, so it's kind cool. of a big deal for us and for the company itself. Or, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> but anyway, we want to th say thank you for um, you know doing this for us and taking your time to come and do the interview today. Uh, we really appreciate it. Um, the rest of your pictures will be online soon, so everybody check can check them out and hit up our YouTube channel for um, exclusive clips from throughout today's adventure that we've had. Uh, but anyway, um, we want to talk to you about you. Okay. So, first off, what I'm going to ask you is, uh, what was your life like growing up as a child? Oof. Life when I grew up? <laughs> life growing up uh, was, it, it was, a uh, it was fun. You know, I, I grew up, you know, having a, a normal childhood like anybody else, you know, playing around and, and having fun. I grew up in South St. Louis, so I was around a lot of the street element and, uh, mm -hmm. You know, a lot of a lot of different things I had to see growing up, and so that, that probably shaped half of who I am right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm from Chicago originally, and I was born in Aurora, so I know kind of the whole thing with the street life and yeah. how it can be a little bit different and um, not as I guess you could say welcoming right. to a lot of individuals. But uh. yeah. I went to college, and so you know that's kind of that's kind of like it's a it's it's troubling for a lot of people. You know what I mean? To be like street smart and then to be like educated through the yeah. school system and so it, you know it's wild at times you know you, you get a, a whole different perspective on things and uh, it, it's very enlightening because you, you see now you see like the, the differences you know you see the, the, the problems the, the, the real problems yeah. you know yeah so what did you go to school for? Uh, I went to school for business management Oh really? Yeah. Oh that's cool. Well, I know you mean entrepreneur and everything yeah. like me. Yeah. You know business yeah. management is definitely a big thing nowadays so sure. that's good. You gotta own your own. Yes, that's you do. <laughs> gotta own your own. Um, well why don't you tell us a little bit like about your like your family? Um, I mean are you like the oldest, the youngest, uh, do you have any brothers or sisters? Yeah I got uh, four sisters and one brother and uh, I'm the youngest other than my baby sister. I got a baby sister so I'm the youngest. I get mostly what I want all the time. Oh, you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, uh, I'm the youngest and it was cool. Get beat up a lot. but. Picked down by the yeah, sisters. Oh, everybody. <laughs> do they like want to do your hair and stuff too? Uh, <laughs> I think I got my hair done a lot, but you know, now I don't get my hair done. Oh. Yeah. It's straight rough. <laughs> straight rock style. That's cool. So, um, how is their your relationship with your parents? Uh, we got a good relationship. Uh, I love my parents. I got both my parents still, and I'm very happy about that. Mm -hmm. uh, they're old though. <laughs> they're cool though. Not not old, but yeah. you know what I mean. Like, I know we're like getting old ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yesterday we were like sixteen. You yeah. know. But, you know they're they're cool. They're uh, they're good people. My my parents are different. Like from a lot of parents, my parents are are real lenient. Like mm -hmm. because you know they uh they got a lot of a lot of street smarts also, and so. Uh, just growing up, they they usually let us you know learn from everything and everybody around us. You know, very wise people, been through a whole lot. You know, so I, I'm very blessed to have the parents I had. You know. Well, why don't you give your parents a shout out real quick? What up, mom? What up, dad? You see, your boy. <laughs> yeah. <but> you, no. <laughs> he ain't doing that swear. no more. He's, nah. he's an entrepreneur now. Big, My entrepreneur big now. Up, We're uh, handling business and <laughs> doing it right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, okay, so you are the youngest of the four, four, five children, right? Five, five children. Well, so, I got one younger sister. Okay, see, I'm the oldest of uh, five children. Yeah. So How's that? the opposite. Yeah. It's completely the opposite. I, I, I think I grew up too fast. I had to. I'm, you know, unfortunately, uh, when you got so many siblings that are younger than you, you kind of got to help raise them. But right. it's okay. I think it made me a good mom now. Yeah. So I'm happy Why? with that part. But this isn't about me. It's about you today. Oh, okay. So okay. it's okay. okay. Um, well, anyway, so how did you, like, first off, uh, you got into college, and I, I know that you do amateur MMA, so were you doing MMA, like, growing up, or? Uh, growing up, I was just fighting. So you were just doing, like, street fights? Straight like street fights, straight, you know, I, got, I always had, like, a lot of dudes around me. In my neighborhood, it was always a lot of big, older dudes, and mm -hmm. they were always fighting me. I had an older cousin who always, you know, fought me, and so, mm -hmm. 
I just like growing up loved to fight, and it's kind of funny how like I started fighting. It was a uh, while my senior year. I got a room. I got a an apartment. With four mm -hmm. guys. It was four of us, and all three of them like, yo, we not paying the note. <laughs> and so uh, we had to be creative, and we got into a, a situation. Me and two other people, and so we were staying in a one bedroom apartment. Wow. And so me and my boy, we were sleeping in the living room. This is real life. We were, we were sleeping in the living room, and uh, I come in every night, and he'd be up, and he'd just start punching at me, and I'd be like, come on, what you doing, you know, we'd start boxing, and we'll fight from like 10 o'clock to like 4 o'clock in the morning, every morning. Wow, was it like, was this just like, like straight grappling, fighting, nah, or like, like sparring, or like, like really like trying to beat the crap out of each other? It, it was mostly like karate, tough uh, love? yeah, yeah, tough karate, love. Okay. yeah, tough love, you know, not a lot yeah. of grappling, though. Yeah. <laughs> hey, grappling is definitely the way to end submissions. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, it is, yeah. But anyway, go ahead, continue. But uh, yeah, and then uh, so I went out one day, and uh, me and my friend, I, I was gonna treat him to some lunch, and uh, we go out, and uh, these guys walk in, so I'm sizing them all up. It was like three of them, I'm like, yeah, I want you, you to take you, and then the guys they sit down and they eat, and uh, I'm telling my boy, I told him why they went to go get their food. I'm mm -hmm. like, man, I can beat those guys, you know. And they come back, and the guy looks at me, he's like. You a fighter? I'm like, yeah, I've been fighting every night for like past two months. And uh, he's like, come train with us. And that's my boy Tommy Roberts, uh, Team Alive. I still rep Team Alive. That's, that's my team that's, mm -hmm. who taught me everything. Like, he, he brought us in. It was the craziest workouts we ever did. Mm -hmm. My man is a pro fighter down in Tennessee right now. Okay. He's just real good. So be on the lookout for him for, uh, for real. For real you know? <laughs> but uh, he brought me in, taught me everything that I knew up until this point, so mm -hmm. real, real happy about that. That's good. Um, so how many fights have you had now? I've had two fights. Two. So you're the same as me. I, yeah. I'm, I'm one and one right now. Word? Yeah. Yeah, I'm two and oh right now. Uh, mm -hmm. I've been taking like a fight a year, so. Yeah. You know. you know, sometimes I think that a lot of people that do MMA, um, some people do it to, in a way, kind of get their name out there and really, really want to get their name out there for I think reasons that are not personal. Right. Um, you know, I think you're kind of one of those people like me that it kind of fits in your it explains part of your lifestyle. It's like a, for me, it's a form of therapy for the right. things that have happened to me, you know? And it's not about how much I fight, it's about just when I do, about the um, amount of time and commitment I put into it, you right. know? Um, so, as far as for like your fighting stance and styles and stuff, like what is your favorite, do you have like a particular favorite, like the boxing, the, you know, the ground game, or uh, Muay Thai, or kickboxing? Me, I'm an adaptable fighter. Okay. So, whoever I'm fighting, I'm gonna adapt, and I'm gonna confuse the hell out of you, and I'm it's just gonna be a hell of a fight, you know. Mm -hmm. Like I don't like to, to say that I'm a wrestler or a boxer or mm -hmm. a, you know a ground guy because I, I do all of them very well, you know. Yeah. What I mean? And that's just the way I feel. Maybe I'm not the best, but no, I mean you know. I feel the same way sometimes about myself. But yeah. um, I like the ground uh, naturally for me. So right. I was just wondering if you have like a thing like that. Where I think I'm natural. Like, I'm a natural wrestler. Okay. I think uh, that's just like my strongest suit, like you mm -hmm. know. But as far as everything, like I grew up, St. Louis is a boxing city, and yeah. so everybody boxes. You know, everybody knows at least somebody's in their family. They taught them how to box. All the guys in the neighborhood, like I used to get the guys in my neighborhood, like to, to get on the boxing gloves. Like we always had disputes <laughs> over something. Like let's get them the boxing gloves. I'm watching everybody knock everybody out. Like yeah, yeah it was crazy. But you know, and as far as everything else go, I, I've really been working on my legs though, like mm -hmm. like my kicks and everything, and my ground game is the next part of my, my piece to my puzzle that I got yeah. in yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it's as far as like um, learning extra moves, you know, it's all about the people that you train with um, and also about, I think, that how much you put into it yourself. I mean, you can look up stuff on YouTube that's great. Um, mm -hmm. You can buy books. I mean, I just bought uh, BJ Penn's book. Hey, BJ. <laughs> but, yeah. but yeah, he's if you, if you get a chance, it actually just got like, I mean, 300 moves or something, it's oh, amazing. Word. Yeah, it's, it's like a diary of like gold. Oh, I love yeah, it. Yeah, I'm kind of like obsessed with it. But um, and it actually has like a workout, like routine. Like it tells you like week one, week two, week three. Okay. Like, so it'll put you like through a whole six months training, which word. is kind of nice um, if you want to do it on your own. But uh, besides the, the actual like fighting stances of everything and styles, um, when you started fighting, like was there a particular reason? Like when you do fight, like why do you fight? Like besides the kind of the growing up of loving the you know the combatness of it itself i wanted to challenge myself okay and uh, every time i fight it's going to be like a challenge to myself i like to take myself to the next level mm -hmm. and uh when when the opportunity to fight was presented i was like hey you know uh, i don't know you know and yeah. just that feeling i had to 
like beat that feeling, you yeah, know? Yeah, to see if you could do it, right? Like, I had to, to see if you could even I, do it. I place. had to see if I could even do it, you know, yeah. just to try it out because it was, it, you know, when I told people, like, yeah, I'm taking a fight, you know, the first thing you guys like, <laughs> what? I know. Don't <laughs> fight. You don't lose your teeth. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> you sound like the, the, how they are with the Molly. You're too pretty. Yeah. Don't be fighting. Why are you going to do that? Yeah. Like, yeah. Right? You got, you just went to college. You didn't even go to college to fight, <laughs> right? Because yeah. it was funny because. I graduated the week before my fight, right? Mm -hmm. And so every my whole family comes down and everybody's trying to kick it. I'm like, I'm focused. You know, I got my <laughs> bean face on. Like, like this. Man, I'm, I'm in it. <laughs> I'm, I'm all in it. And uh, it was wild, though, because uh, it, it was just wild because, like, right at that at that period of time, like, I was graduating and I'm telling my family, and they're like, man, we just, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. we just put it all on the line to get you here. You know what I mean? And you're going to lose go, it all. You're going to go in a cage and get knocked out and get brain cancer. You, you see Muhammad Ali, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not going to be able to hear. Uh, you ever lost your hearing from sparring? Uh, I have, like, a couple times. Or some concussions, man, those are always fun. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I try not to get hit in the head. Like, that's my thing. They're like, oh, you're going to lose your teeth. I'm like, nobody's going to hit me in my face. Well, you know, so you see mouth guards <laughs> yeah. and uh, tap out mouth guards. Hey, they got some pretty good mouth guards if you uh, haven't tried them. Yeah, I right. like fighting with them. If you do, they send them a picture. They might put you on their website. Oh, uh, word? Yeah. Oh, that's we'll talk about it. Okay. But, yeah. <laughs> but uh, as far as, you know, fighting, I, I, I really like the, the aspect of, like, training. You know, mm -hmm. it's like really just, you know, this week, do 20 steps, next week do 30, next week mm -hmm. do 40, and it's always improvement. And what I think is, is when you do stuff like that, like, it carries over to other parts of your life. Yes. Like, I see myself, when I'm working out, I go hard, and then as I elevate, like, I'm working harder in, in, mm -hmm. in the other endeavors that I'm, that I'm taking on. Yeah. Back to what I was saying here. Um, as far as, like, the discipline aspect, I think, like, it kind of does kind of create, like, a little bit of a discipline thing for yourself if you... It depends on like it's like what you want to do for yourself like it's right. like you know you're building this putting all this time into it and focus and uh you know it kind of like allows you to not only reevaluate yourself as a fighter but i think you can apply mma the the virtues and some of the values to all aspects of your life right you know um for me the camaraderie was just amazing uh, yeah. you know like the that's team, something that we definitely right? should we definitely yeah. gotta talk about i mean like do you besides the one person that you said do you have any other people you want yeah to team up? first lieutenant in st louis so i trained with two teams well three teams actually uh the the boxing gym of st louis cwe that was my that was my second team mm -hmm. and uh i got team alive and then uh team first lieutenant and these all of these guys are, are good man and, and that's like that's that's the best part of fighting But we were talking about like you know just developing your spirit and, and, and being able to you know uh, maximize your potential. Mm -hmm. And so I also started uh, doing parkour, and which is basically the art of you know uh, the art of living. I, I like to call it that, but it's because like you know it's it's, it's free running. It's you know you 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 you're, you're always pushing limits. So when I walk down the street now, I'm like, hmm, can I run and jump over that chair? <laughs> onto that pole and then yeah. you climb onto that roof and then, you know it's yeah. it's all about like like seeing opportunities in everything that you're doing you know yeah. what I mean and, and exploring yeah. opportunities same same thing in fighting you know you fight and then you you know you got somebody inside control and you go into the arm bar because you got the opportunity mm -hmm. and it's all about opening up those opportunities yeah. you know it's all about being able to maximize your potential and that's what I'm all about right now is like maximizing potential I want to maximize human potential because there's so much and it's not a lot of people understand what's possible. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, that's, that's that's big to me. No, I mean, I've definitely realized a lot lately myself, too. It's like uh, when it comes to life, I mean, you never know if you're going to wake up tomorrow, you know? Yeah. And if you don't, I mean, have you said everything you want to say to all the people? Have you left certain situations the way that you want it to be done? Have you attempted to try to do any of those things on your top ten bucket list? Right. You know? So uh, it's... It's definitely life itself is something that people should actively pursue and live, and it's your life, so you should live it. Live, people. Live your life. <laughs> Don't just sit around. Don't let it just walk you by. Um, yeah. 